We have officially made it to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan for our first trip of the season. Not gonna lie, boys, the snow is looking a little thin. That's okay, we took a risk coming up here knowing that it may be good or it may be bad. It all depends on what ends up happening with the snowstorm coming up this week. Right now, we're predicting about 10 to 15 in some spots, 15 plus. Quite honestly, right now, it is a complete gamble whether or not that's gonna hit. But either way, we are here. We have the sleds, we have the cabin, we have some snow. We're gonna go out and make the best of it. Let's go, boys! <laughs> Bro, the light up looks insane. Insane. Now clearly there's not really enough snow to hit the backcountry. We have a couple spots we get hit that we know are gonna be pretty safe. But as far as exploring and getting to the trees, probably not gonna happen today. But we're probably gonna end up doing some trail riding and then hop to those spots where we know it's safer. Overall, whether we're trail riding or backcountry riding, it is still a good day because we're gonna be out on the sleds for the first time of the season. So I'll catch you guys out on the sleds. First ride of the season? Yes, sir. Buddy, why am I so nervous right now? I know, I'm terrified. All right, well, I'm gonna take it slow so I learn this thing. I'm like literally shaking. I feel that like thing in your stomach when you're nervous. <laughs> I forgot I had that. Oh, man. All right, let's ride. <laughs> It's like really exciting, but also really nerve wracking. <laughs> There's like hardly any snow. The trails actually look okay though. So far so good on the skidoo. So far so good. Not really used to the balance point yet. I could tell going down that hill. Rather scary for me, I'm not gonna lie. On my pro, I would've been fine. I really want to give her some beans and see what this thing's made of, but I'm also terrified. I'm going to take it slow so I learn this thing. I'm going to take it slow so I learn this thing. Buddy. What? She eats. Oh yeah. I forgot to latch my helmet. So far so good. Yeah. So far so good. Oh. I, I was I looked down, I was like 80 something. It's a good temp for these. It's 120. Okay, carving is so much different. Oh boy. I'm having bog issues at full throttle. Having what? Bogging. Bogging? At full throttle. I don't know if it's the exhaust or the plugs. I'm gonna try to do a wheelie and you'll see what I mean. <laughs> What do you think that is? Now since it was out west, do you think it has to do with the clutching? 
Do I need different clutch weights? I have no idea. We'd almost have to take it to the dealer, Houghton Power Sports. It just seems like it hits a point and it doesn't want to go any higher. Well, guys, I think the sled is over revving itself. I don't think it has anything to do with the exhaust because by the way it's doing it, it's almost like it's over revving, hitting limiter, and then cutting out. But we're going to cruise up to Houghton Power Sports and see if they have some time to take a look at this thing and get this thing straightened away so we can enjoy the rest of the trip. And I am just going to take it easy on the way there because I don't want to damage this motor. Boys, currently we are on trail three north to south range south of houghton we we're trying to find houghton power sports because i know there's a cutoff off three we just can't seem to find the cutoff and the sleds are kind of maybe overheating just a little bit not much snow up this way where we came from down by like south to south range it was looking good i mean there was probably a foot of snow which is not bad we expected that but we're up closer to houghton now and it's like maybe three four inches trails have i mean something on it i guess it's enough to keep my sled cool with the flap Brandon's having some overheating issues. I'm having clutching issues and I'm trying to get that taken care of before the big storm comes this week. Looking on Google Maps right now, trying to find Houghton Power Sports, see if we can find a cutoff trail to it that I remember there was. If we can't do that, we're probably gonna ride back to the cabins, load my sled up in the trailer, take it up to Houghton Power Sports, and then I'll probably see if they have a Polaris there to trade this thing in on. Cause I don't know about this whole skidoo thing, guys. I thought I was gonna like it. And right now, not so much, don't get me wrong. I like riding it on the trail and riding it normally. It feels really good, but I went to go carve it and granted, we don't have a lot of snow. We have maybe eight to 12 inches down and it just felt so weird. Like Brandon told me though, it's gonna take time to get used to it. Something completely different, ridden Polaris my whole life and I'm now switching to a Skidoo. Pretty much foreign territory for me. But there are some things I'm not too sure I'm gonna like about this sled, but I think I wanna make that decision once I get this clutching issue figured out or whatever it is. Major overheating issues, eh? I think that's engine temp. Mine's been at 113. Well, what's your B? I don't know. What's my B? My, my B's 93. Mine's 102. You own this longer than I have. You don't know? No, I don't know. I've never seen that. I doubt my sled's running 93 in these conditions. I feel like ease engine temp. And if yours is 160, you should probably shut that thing off. Do we need to Google this? We look like idiots. This first day on the snow. Well, what little snow we have here. My summit's down. Kinda. Brandon's is mad overheating, but it is a good thing we are up and riding today before the big storm comes because if I found out that this thing bogs when there's 15, 20 inches of fresh snow on the ground, I would be really, really upset. Now that I know that it bogs now, it's really not a big deal because I'm riding in four inches of snow. I'd rather know now I can get it fixed before the good snow comes. On the bright side though, we probably have the hardest sleds in the UP right now. I mean, come on, look at the lineup. They're looking real good, just not running real good. Got the sleds back in one piece. No one blew a motor, nothing like that. Loaded up in the trailer. We were close, he was close, 160. Headed off to Houghton Power Sports to see if they could fix my sled. Hopefully they can. If not, it's getting traded for a Polaris. Well, guys, just dropped my sled off at Houghton Power Sports. Told the service tech what issues I was having with the sled, and he pretty much confirmed that it was I had the high elevation clutching in there. So that was why it felt like I was hit for rev limiter and over revving, because I was over revving. So just dropped the sled off to these guys. They're going to take care of it either this afternoon or tomorrow, which is awesome. That's really quick service on such short notice. So I really appreciate that. I am excited to say that Houghton Power Sports pulled through and they were able to get my clutch done tonight so we should have no more further issues guys i want to give a huge thank you to everyone over at houghton power sports for pulling through for me and getting my sled in the same day i brought it in and getting the repair done the same day and i was able to literally pick it up within three hours to everyone over at houghton power sports thank you guys i truly appreciate it i'm gonna go ahead and close this video out right here if you guys enjoyed today's video smash a huge thumbs up on today's video comment section below let me know what you thought of our mess of a day and guys we are so close to 20,000 subscribers if you guys are new here or you've been watching for a while and you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button and i will catch you guys in the next video Peace out. I've been riding, rolling, drinking, smoking.